When the world woke up to the headline Elon Musk buys Maxwell Chikumbutso's RF power kit for $1 billion, it didn't just sound like news, it sounded like history breaking open. For years, the idea of a self-powered car that doesn't need fuel, charging, or solar energy seemed like a futuristic fantasy. And yet, one man in Africa had already built it, Maxwell Chikumbutso, the Zimbabwean inventor who shook the scientific world with his radical RF-based energy systems. Elon Musk, a man never afraid of audacity, reportedly saw something extraordinary in that invention. A compact RF power kit that can be fitted into any electric or gasoline car to make it self-powered, self-sustaining, and truly independent of the grid. If true, this $1 billion deal might not just change Tesla, it could redefine the entire automotive industry. Imagine never plugging in your car again, never waiting for a charge, and never paying for fuel. It would mean the end of range anxiety, the death of battery dependence, and perhaps even the collapse of global oil and energy monopolies. According to early reports circulating on multiple African tech channels, representatives from Tesla and Shikambutso's company Seth Technologies allegedly met in Johannesburg two months ago. Sources claim the discussions were strategic and confidential, centered around licensing, technology transfer, and proprietary patents related to the RF conversion kit. The rumored product, often referred to as the RF Power Kit, is said to harness ambient radio frequency energy and convert it into usable electricity in real time. Essentially, it captures energy from the electromagnetic spectrum, the invisible sea of waves that surrounds us every second. That energy, once amplified through Chikambutso's unique circuitry, can drive motors, power batteries, and sustain full operation without external charging. When Musk supposedly learned that Chikambutso's prototype had powered vehicles continuously for over 30,000 miles without refueling or charging, he was reportedly stunned. Tesla's own battery technology, though groundbreaking, still faced fundamental limits, charging time, range constraints, and high lithium demand. Chikambutso's technology, if authentic, would eliminate those boundaries overnight. Some reports even suggest that Musk sent a team of engineers under a clean energy acquisition umbrella to test the prototype firsthand. Anonymous insiders described what they saw as impossible yet undeniable. A converted Tesla Model S allegedly ran for weeks on the RF kit alone, monitored under laboratory conditions. While no official data has been released, whispers claim that the test convinced Musk that Chikambutso's RF system could integrate into Tesla's architecture with minimal reconfiguration. The deal, according to multiple unnamed sources, was valued at $1 billion, with part equity in Tesla stock and part in direct technology rights. If confirmed, it would make Maxwell Chikambutso one of the most valuable inventors in modern energy history. But this is where things begin to blur between reality and rumor. No official statement has been released by Tesla, and Chikambutso himself has remained silent, only posting a cryptic message on social media. The future of energy is not wired, it's wireless. That single sentence set off a wildfire across forums, Reddit threads, and tech communities. Was this a confirmation or just a well-timed coincidence? Many African innovation advocates celebrated it as validation that Western giants were finally recognizing African ingenuity. Meanwhile, skeptics argued that such technology, if real, would disrupt too many entrenched interests to ever see the light of day. They claim the silence isn't about secrecy but about suppression. Still, something feels different this time. A $1 billion rumor doesn't appear out of nowhere. It follows a chain of documented interactions between Chikambutso's team and several global automakers. Back in 2022, Seth Technologies had demonstrated a self-powered generator and vehicle in Harare before international engineers. Videos of those events showed cars idling without engines running, lights powered without external cables, and batteries that didn't discharge. Critics dismissed it as trickery. Supporters called it the dawn of the next industrial revolution. And in that divide, the possibility of collaboration with Musk becomes both believable and unbelievable at once. Because if there's one person on Earth who'd risk $1 billion to chase impossible technology, it's Elon Musk. He has done it with reusable rockets, with electric vehicles, with neural interfaces, and even with satellite-based internet. So why not RF-powered propulsion? 
What makes this rumor burn hotter is the reported presence of Tesla-branded crates in Seth's facility last month. Local journalists photographed shipments labeled testing equipment arriving from the United States. Seth Technologies declined to comment, fueling even more speculation. Could it be that Tesla is already integrating RF modules into their secret R&D labs? Could the next generation of Teslas drive themselves indefinitely without plugging in? These questions have no official answers, yet the internet is exploding with theories. Some claim the RF kit is being tested under a new division of Tesla called Project Continuum. Others insist it's a cover for Tesla's own experimental wireless charging system, unrelated to Chikumbutso's invention. But the difference between wireless charging and self-powering is monumental. Wireless charging still depends on external infrastructure. Chikumbutso's technology, if genuine, needs none. It's not wireless charging, it's infinite motion. And that's what makes it revolutionary or dangerous depending on whom you ask. Rumor also has it that several high-level engineers who once worked with Tesla's energy storage division have quietly relocated to Southern Africa. Their LinkedIn updates list vague titles like Research Consultant and Independent Energy Systems Advisor. Coincidence or silent confirmation? Even within Tesla forums, discussions have become heated. Some fans believe Musk's silence is strategic, a way to avoid regulatory panic or market manipulation before formal disclosure. Others think the entire story is fabricated, an internet myth feeding on wishful thinking and conspiracy threads. But then again, Chikambutso's track record is filled with inventions once dismissed and later verified. His self-powered television, drone, and generator prototypes have all defied conventional explanations. If his RF power kit truly works, then Elon Musk's $1 billion offer might not be a rumor but a rescue, a way to bring suppressed innovation to the mainstream. Imagine what happens when a Tesla Model 3 or Cybertruck no longer needs a charging station. Entire charging networks would become obsolete overnight. Energy companies would scramble. Governments would debate control over ambient spectrum access. And ordinary consumers would experience the closest thing to free transportation in history. That's why the world is watching, even without official proof. Because deep down, we sense that something big is shifting in the narrative of power itself. Africa, long viewed as a consumer of technology, is now shaping the core of the next revolution. And the man at the center, Maxwell Chikambutso, remains as enigmatic as ever. In interviews, he often speaks about divine inspiration, about ideas arriving through prayer, not textbooks. It's a philosophy that confounds scientists and fascinates believers. Perhaps that's why his inventions seem to exist on the border between science and miracle. And maybe that's what drew Elon Musk, a man obsessed with pushing human limits, to his doorstep. Some say this partnership could be the world's first real union between African ingenuity and Silicon Valley execution. Others fear it could mean the absorption of another African breakthrough into Western corporate control. Would a $1 billion deal truly empower Chikambutso? Or would it bury his freedom to innovate under layers of non-disclosure and patent restrictions? That's where the story turns gray. Because depending on who you ask, Musk is either the visionary who could take Chikambutso's tech global, or the capitalist who could quietly shelve it if it threatens Tesla's business model. Even within Africa, the reactions are divided. Some Zimbabwean outlets hailed the rumor as proof that African innovation has finally been valued. Others warned that history has shown what happens when revolutionary African technologies attract global corporate interest. They vanish. Still, a sense of pride pulses through online conversations. Because whether the deal is confirmed or not, it puts Maxwell Chikambutso's name next to Elon Musk's. And that's enough to ignite imaginations. As the rumor spreads, small tech startups across Africa are beginning to explore RF harvesting on their own. Universities are launching research programs into ambient energy capture. It's as if the very possibility of the deal has already accelerated innovation across the continent. Even if Musk never signed anything, the narrative itself is reshaping perception. It proves that Africa's inventors are no longer isolated. They're part of the global race toward the post-electric age. Still, the skeptics persist. They ask, where are the patents? 
Where are the independent verifications? Where's the data? And those are fair questions. For now, everything about this supposed $1 billion deal lives in the shadows of unconfirmed reports and cryptic hints. Maybe the talks happened and broke down quietly. Maybe Tesla tested the kit and found it unscalable. Maybe it's all an elaborate misinformation wave. Or maybe it's exactly what it seems. Because, curiously, Tesla's upcoming product roadmap, leaked last week, mentioned a new class of continuous energy systems. The phrasing is vague, but insiders say it's unlike anything in Tesla's current line. Could that be a coded nod to RF energy integration? Or is it just coincidence layered over speculation? What we know for sure is this. The RF power kit exists, demonstrated multiple times in Africa. What remains uncertain is whether the world's most influential technologist has truly stepped in to bring it mainstream. As the debate continues, YouTube channels, podcasts, and even financial analysts are dissecting every clue. Some point to unusual Tesla patent filings related to non-ionizing wireless energy reception. Others highlight that Maxwell Chikumbutso has recently trademarked new terms, infinite drive and wireless motion in both Zimbabwe and South Africa. Those filings appeared the same week the $1 billion rumor first surfaced. Coincidence again, or synchronization too perfect to ignore? One anonymous engineer allegedly close to the project commented, you can't stop progress. You can delay it, but not forever. That cryptic statement only adds to the mystique surrounding this unfolding saga. Whether Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso have truly shaken hands or not, something deeper is already in motion. It's the shift from centralized power to personal autonomy, from grid dependency to freedom through ambient energy, from disbelief to cautious wonder. And perhaps that's the real power of this story, not in its confirmation, but in its possibility. Because maybe the future doesn't begin with an official announcement or a signed contract. Maybe it begins with a rumor so powerful that it forces the world to imagine again. So whether the $1 billion deal is fact, fiction, or somewhere in between, one truth remains. The dream of self-powered cars has entered the global consciousness, and it's not going away. Even if Tesla denies it tomorrow, people will still ask, what if it's true? And that question alone is enough to inspire the next generation of engineers, inventors, and dreamers. Perhaps one day soon, when the first self-powered car rolls silently across a city street without a plug or a pump in sight, we'll remember this rumor. We'll remember the whispers of a $1 billion handshake between Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso. And we'll realize that sometimes, History begins as a story no one believes, until the engine that never stops proves it was real all along.